Hi. Yes, I said hi rather than greetings because I decided to change something up at least for one time. Last day of my Oswego State shirt. <laughs> I tell you, sometimes you can just go crazy, but y'all don't really care what I'm wearing. Today I'm going to talk about my mother. I've talked about my mother for probably at least three years now. Here and there, I've written about her on one of my blogs. And it's no secret, you know, mom's got dementia. There's no shame to it. A lot of people act as though it's a scary thing, shouldn't talk about it. Uh, even one of my cousins once said, why do you talk about it so much? You're embarrassing your mother. Which I said, I'm not embarrassing her. One, she doesn't know she has it. Two, since I knew mom had dementia, which I felt she actually had years before they finally gave her the true diagnosis on it, you run into a lot more people who have dealt with this issue. I mean, you know what? I was almost 60 when I first got mom here. Now I'm 61. And I run into people who are my age, some of them who are older, a lot who are younger, who have had to deal with this. And they never talk about it until after someone else talks about it. And that's so odd. Um, I did a video a long time ago where I talked about you know, not holding back things that happen to you when they're medical because, especially in families, you start to find out that when one person owns up to it, a lot of people own up to it. It's like with diabetes. Um, my dad got it. He mentioned it to some family members, and suddenly family members came out of the woodworks to admit that di they were diabetic because diabetes used to be something you didn't tell anybody. You were ashamed of it because you thought that you had done a lot of bad things to get there. And a lot of folks were overweight and had other issues, so I could see wh why they were thinking about that. Although, you know, what can we do? <laughs> but Dad wasn't overweight. Dad had other, you know, things that helped him to get there, which are terrible, but still. And so once he mentioned it, it came out. Now you find out, okay, it runs high on Dad's side of the family. Had I known that 10 years earlier, I wouldn't have become a diabetic. But who knew? So there you go. Anyway, getting back to mom and her dementia, you are now at a point where in, well, January, in near the end of January, it would be four years since mom was here. It would be about six and a half years since I thought that mom had an issue. And over time, mom has declined. She just has. When mom first came to the house, we could actually have a conversation. Now, it wasn't always a logical conversation, but mom could actually speak in sentences. Every once in a while, she could speak in paragraphs, and she would tell some of these stories. Some of these stories, stories weren't quite true. <laughs> I mean, the favorite story she used to tell, and she told everybody this, was how the Russian jets came after us while we were flying to Japan, and how the U.S. military had to come and protect us. Well, we did fly to Japan, but the Russian jets didn't come. Uh, so I had to let people know, okay, that part of the story didn't happen. But one of mom's favorite TV shows was JAG, and that happened on JAG, so she just incorporated that into history. <laughs> now, however, mom a lot of times can't finish a sentence. Mom may say something like, you know what, and I'll say what, and she'll just stare at me, or she'll look at something else, because she doesn't know where she wants to go with it. Occasionally, I'll get a, you know, a full sentence. I may say something small, and she may respond to it, in the proper manner and you're like okay that was one day but then there's those other times where I will say something to her she will say something totally different I said okay do you know what I was saying to you and she's not listening to me whatsoever that's just one of those kind of things that happens I've had to change up how I give mom food used to be I could put anything in front of her and you know she did her thing she ate it it was all good I knew what food she liked and we had a variety of foods that she would eat back then and everything was good now the menu has drastically had to be limited she will eat chicken nuggets <laughs> so I give her a lot of chicken nuggets she will eat french fries so I give her a lot of french fries uh, breakfast is almost always Cheerios Honey Nut Cheerios every Sunday I'm able to give her some instant oatmeal which works out well for me because I also have to give her stuff to help her go to the bathroom. Not in the way you might think. Um, yes, it helps her to have a bowel movement, but my mother's dementia has gone to the side where 
quite often when I take her to the bathroom, because I take her on a time schedule regardless, quite often she'll sit there and not go. Uh, some days it will be six or seven hours before mom goes to the bathroom after she's awake. And you think that's scary. There are times where overnight mom might have been in the bedroom 13, 14 hours. And I will have her on the toilet and she doesn't go. Neither way. And that is scary because, you know, you got to get that stuff out of your body. But mom doesn't always remember how to go to the bathroom. Sometimes I'm lucky. Sometimes it's within five minutes. Sometimes I'm sitting here 30 minutes. Nothing. So I have to try to give her stuff early in the day to get her so that she will at least go. <laughs> it's scary. Like I said, one way I have to get her to have bowel movements, the other way is just to get her to go, period. And I also can't force her to drink anything. Used to be I handed her anything, she would just drink it. Now, sometimes she looks at it, she plays with it, she loves tops. <laughs> She'll take a top off, put the thing down, just play with the top, do all kind of stuff with it. Uh, when I give her a drink with her meal, I've got a mixed emotion thing because I have to put a top on it so that she doesn't just sit there and pour the drink all in the food, which is nasty as sin, but, you know, it's something she does. But she'll take the top and she will play with the food with the top. She eats a lot more food with her fingers. I've learned once again that I now have to give her basically peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I used to give her ham sandwiches because ham sandwiches were what she ate when she was still living by herself. But now what she'll do is she takes the entire thing apart and she will eat maybe one piece of it. I don't mean one piece of the sandwich. I mean she'll either eat the ham or she will eat one slice of bread. Every once in a while she will eat the slices of bread and the ham but it's not all that often anymore. <laughs> it's just one of those weird things. Dessert is an issue now in the fact that I used to be able to kind of give her anything and you know I knew it was stuff that she liked and dessert would be a fine thing. It doesn't quite work out like that anymore. If I give mom a donut Half of it is going to end up on her because it breaks up. There's just nothing you can do about a donut. I give her, um, what do you call Oh, my goodness. I've lost it. Kit Kats. I will give her Kit Kat bars. I break them up into the four pieces and I will give those to her on a tray, on a paper plate. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm doing good. However, I can't give those to her with a drink anymore. Why? Because even though she loves the Kit Kats, she likes to play with stuff. And so she will put the Kit Kats in the bottle and then she won't drink it. Now, some people will say, well, give her a sippy cup. She will not drink from a straw. She's not drinking from a sippy cup. She's almost never done that. She used to drink milkshakes from McDonald's to strawberry. She won't drink those anymore. So, like I said, you have to be willing to modify different things like that. Um, the one thing that hasn't happened, well, a lot, I should say a lot, because I think uh, <laughs> one of the stories I wrote a long time ago when mom was still relatively new here was that she would basically overnight have bowel movement in the bed and that you had to clean that up. But sometimes, because back then she would get out of bed on her own, it would be on the rug. It could be almost anywhere else if she decided to go on a, on a walk and whatever. Well, I don't have to worry about that anymore because she doesn't get up at night anymore. She may stay awake, but she doesn't get up anymore. I took care of that issue. We're not going to get into it. Let's just say I had to take care of that issue because she kept falling. And because I still need an operation on my shoulder, and mom is not a lightweight, I couldn't lift her on my own, so I was having to call the ambulance all the time. So said, no, we're going to change that up. But this year... I've only had to deal with it twice, uh, bowel movement overnight, because I started monitoring different things. Like I said, I give her stuff so that she will have a bowel movement at some time earlier in the day. If she has something overnight, it's almost nothing, which means it's not getting anywhere else, and it's certainly not going to end up on the floor. You know, this is one of the things about dealing with someone who has dementia, is the fact that you have to be willing to modify things that you do and pay attention and change things up. For instance, one of the things I had to do recently is that when I take her in there, I have to grab her left arm and put it under my arm and lift it. She doesn't like it, but I had to start doing that because she was fighting me trying to get her shirt up and her pants down. 
and she's strong. They don't know their strength, and she's strong. And she was hurting me every once in a while. I say, oh, no, 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 no. So I have to do it. Now, she doesn't like what I do, but I don't hurt her when I'm doing it. And now, because she recognizes early on that she, there's nothing she can do about it, then she calms down. Because that's really what we all are trying to do. I'm also happy to say this is terrible of me. <laughs> But I'm not the only one she hits. She hits some of the people at adult daycare. Only in the bathroom, which is the only time she was ever hitting me. So it's not just me. Uh, and mom, years ago, would have never thought about doing anything in person or in public to anyone else who was not family. That just shows how it's progressing. And mom is healthy enough where, you know what, this could be a long-term thing. Uh, mom will be 83 in February, but, you know, mom could last four or five years. And she could last seven. You just never know. So this is not anything that's going to go away uh, all that fast. However, mentally she is going to decline, and I'm going to have to do different things here and there. But I put this out there because it's not the end of the world if you can figure things out. And I'm an only child, so I don't have anyone else who I can actually call in as a family member to help out. I don't have a lot of friends who can help out. My next door neighbor is now helping with her grandkids down in New Jersey so that their mother could go back to work, so I can't call on her. Right now, I have, I have nobody. I'm going to try to see if I can find at least a couple of people who maybe can sit with mom two or three hours every once in a while, maybe on a weekend, because that's really when I'd love to be able to, if I want to go to any movies, if they open up the theaters, because they're not open up in New York yet, I would like to go on a Saturday. But... You know what? It's just life. It's just how it is. I've got a lot of people who are saying to me that I should write a book about it because I tell different tales on Facebook. It might happen, but I'm not guaranteeing it. But I will guarantee that I will every once in a while still talk about it here on this channel. And they seem to be popular enough because people ask questions. They want answers. And I'm not ashamed to talk about it. With that said, my name is Mitch Mitchell. The next time you see a video, it won't be in this shirt. <laughs> Y'all take care. Hope you've had a wonderful holiday.